What would you do if you could have a robot build a highly profitable online course or coaching business for you for free? Well, I decided to get ChatGPT to write out basically every part of the business for me. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the results. We're sitting on top of a really amazing opportunity right now with AI and the people who take advantage of it and get in early are going to profit massively and the people who don't take advantage of it are going to be left behind. They're gonna end up like those people who had the opportunity to buy Bitcoin when it cost a hundred bucks and chose not to. So pay attention if you don't wanna be left behind. So let's consider this as a like a very simple business model that looks like this. So you have an ad and the ad offers a free training and they click on the ad, they go to a landing page. The landing page says, hey, sign up here for the free training. Then they go to the free training, which has a pitch at the end, that's the VSL, right? And then the pitch says, you know, if you wanna buy the full course, click the button, they click the button, they go to an order form, they buy the full course, right? So this is basically the whole sales process. So let's see how we can get ChatGPT to build this all out for us. So we'll go over to our ChatGPT window here. And the first thing that you probably wanna do before you actually get into um, this part of the sales process is you wanna validate your offer, right? You wanna know is like, is this gonna be what the thing that I'm thinking of selling, the course that I wanna teach, is it actually gonna be valuable to people? And so you can do that by asking for certain information. So I'm gonna use uh, a course that I have that's very successful, that um, makes me five figures a month consistently for a long time, and that is teaching people how to get a job as a data analyst. So if I wanna know like, if it's worth it to people, you know, if people are willing to pay for that, well, I can ask ChatGPT what it thinks about, uh, about the prospects of the job. So for example, I could say, what is the average salary of a data analyst in the USA. And then it tells me that uh, as of 2021, the average salary of a data analyst is around 74,000 per year. And um, data analysts with advanced skills and experience can earn upwards of $100,000 or more per year. And so that tells me right away, like if I'm, let's say I'm talking to somebody who's getting paid 40,000 or $50,000 a year. Well, if I can get them up to $74,000 a year, well, from 50,000 to 74,000, that's a value of $24,000 a year, right? And if I multiply that, like let's say they have 20 years left in their career, well, 24,000 times 20, um, 20 years, right? We're looking at almost half a million dollars extra that they're gonna make over the course of their career as a result of what I have to offer. So clearly the value is there. Now let's take another example. I was talking with a lady recently who was thinking of creating a course for business owners for how to do their taxes. And so I thought, um, okay, well, let's let's ask ChatGPT, how much does it cost for the, for the average US small business owner for tax services? And then it gives me this number of um, anywhere from $500 to $3,000. Uh, and, and so for a course that's gonna be like $1,000 to $2,000, well, that's not really a big value, uh, right? Because you know it might be that they only have to pay $500 for somebody to completely do it for them. So are they gonna be willing to pay $1,000 or $1,500 for somebody to, teach them how to do something which they could just get done for them for 500 or, you know, I mean, even 3000, right? So the, the value just doesn't really add up as much in that case. So whatever it is that you're thinking of selling, think about what the value is, what the alternatives are. You know, if you're trying to sell a weight loss offer, you could ask like, how much does it cost for liposuction to lose 20 pounds? Um, or, you know, how much does it cost for a personal trainer? Um, you could think about how much does it cost in terms of like what happens if they don't do it. So maybe you sell relationship services and you could say, how much does the average person um, spend on legal bills in a divorce, right? And so you could, um, if it's like a lot more than the price of your course, then that validates that the course is worth the money. So that's the first thing that ChatGPT is gonna really help you with is validating the offer in the first place. Now, the second thing is writing an ad script. So I can say, uh, write me a script for a YouTube ad offering a free training to learn to become a data analyst. 
And then it gives me, this is cool, it gives me a title, unlock your potential with data analysis free training, and then visuals, like it tells me what to, what to have in the background, not just the script itself. And are you looking to take your career to the next level? Do you want to make an impact in a rapidly growing field of data analysis and another like more visuals? And then it basically gives me the whole ad script, right? I could just copy it word for word if I wanted to. Now, I, I probably wouldn't just because it's not really that benefit driven. It's a little bit vague. Like I would never say, I would never start something with, are you looking to take your career to the next level? Because what is the next level? Like that's not a specific benefit, but as just kind of a general outline, this is really, really good. Um, and, and AI is gonna get better in the future. And I'm gonna talk about this in the end, like where it's going and, and the things, the amazing things that it's going to be able to do very soon. So make sure that you don't skip that part. But anyway, for this right now, you're gonna wanna put it in more sales compelling language, right? So are you gonna take your career to the next level? That's kind of vague. I would start it with something like, did you know that there's a career field that's in high demand where people start making 60 to $80,000 per year with no degree or experience? Something like that, right? That Because I'm offering specific benefits and calling out the reasons that they might think that they can't do it. So that's the ad. Now let's see if we can get it to create a landing page for us. So let's say, um, Write me a landing page script for a short two hour free introductory training on how to become a data analyst. And notice that I'm saying like, I'm, I'm kind of making it specific, like it's just a short free introductory training. I'm not just saying a training, I'm saying short two hour free introductory, right? So because otherwise it's gonna think that it's like this big long course that you're offering and I wanna make sure I'm specific about what the actual free thing is, right? So that it writes it specifically for that. So it gives me like a title, that's gonna be the headline on my landing page. Discover the world of data analysis, free two hour introductory training. And then, you know, like a basic blurb about it, uh, more basic blurbs about it, and then, this is, it's a little wordy for my, uh, for my liking, right? I would, I like landing pages that are simple, but again, you don't want to just take this completely as is, just take it as kind of a basic reference point. And then you ideally would want to have some copy skills to be able to write that um, in a better way. So and let's try actually asking ChatGPT. Uh, let's say, write me the same, script but shorter and with more persuasive language let's see what that comes up with for me become a data analyst in just two hours free intro training okay so that's persuasive right like it's so easy you can do it in just two hours might be a little misleading right you don't want to promise things that you can't deliver but it's got the idea that people uh want something that's easy so yeah, this is a little better. And you can do this, you can write prompts to tell you how to do it in a little bit um, a little bit of a better way. And so when it says visuals, that could be a video or it could be a picture. You could have little pictures that kind of uh, demonstrate your points there. So that's cool for an opt-in page or a landing page. Now let's, let's say, let's see if it can help me with the actual outline of the course itself. So let's say, write me an outline for a course on how to become a data analyst. And notice I'm just using data analyst course as an example. I mean, you could write me a course on how to lose weight using the keto diet, right? It could be anything. So let's see what it gives me. It gives me introduction to data analysis and gives me a few bullet points under that. Data collection preparation, data visualization, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, data mining and predictive modeling. Okay, so it's getting really like in the weeds here. It's getting really in depth, much more than I would. Um, and then, okay. Oh, and then it gives me a, a final project and conclusion and career preparation, which is actually, this is pretty cool because it's pretty similar to the way that my own data analyst course is laid out. Although it gets a little bit, um, a little bit more into the advanced stuff because mine is all about just kind of 
goal focused, getting you your first job as a data analyst, not making you like the world's foremost expert on everything data analytics, right? Just like getting you enough to get you hired. And so, and I found that that works a lot better from the sales and marketing side is to focus on a particular goal um, rather than focusing on just teaching everything that you possibly can. So that's something that ChatGPT is still a little, little doesn't understand yet. Um, because it's not trained on results yet. Which brings me to the last part of this video that I really, really wanted to stress, which is where this is going in the future. So right now, it's just kind of giving you uh, what, what it's seen in the past. But what's going to happen and what is already possible using AI machine learning, um, and I am sure that tools are going to come out for this soon, is that not only are they going to give you kind of just like summary copy like this, but they'll be able to start figuring out what copy actually converts, right? What things actually get sales. And so when that happens, that's going to blow up the world. Like that's going to blow up the whole game. It's going to be able to figure out not only what is descriptive copy, but what is actually persuasive, what actually pe gets people to uh, to take action or to buy the product. And once that happens, then then this stuff is just going to be amazing. And then you'll be able to use it word for word without having to use your, your marketing filter when um, rewriting this stuff. So look out for that in the future. And if you want to use ChatGPT to make you passive income right now, check out this video where I show you five ways that you can do just that. And these are pretty unusual ideas that you're probably not going to find anywhere else. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video.